I am Dr. T. Manohar, Chief of Urology Services and Kidney Transplant, Manipal Group of Hospitals. Basically, the kidney stone is the stone present within the renal system. It's the genitourinary system. They are different from the gallbladder stones. So there is a, there are definitely there is a confusion between these two. Gallbladder is something which is related, which secretes the bile and it's present in between the liver and the stomach. So that the stone is different. Whereas the kidney stone is the one where in the urinary secreting organs, they are located in the flank. So these, when the uh, stone forms the, in the kidney, then it's called as kidney stones. How it is formed? More importantly, how it is formed? When the body water level comes down and the electrolyte metabolic products increases, like calcium, oxalate, phosphorus, then the stone forms and crystallizes within the kidney. When there is an alteration in the temperature, when there is a high temperature, when the person sweats a lot, and when there is a low temperature, when you are exposed to the low temperature. So alteration in the altitude and temperature causes kidney stone formation. Dietary habits, kidney stone formation. So the basic principle is you have to maintain the body balance to neutralize the crystal formation within the body, which is simply called as supersaturation. So supersaturation is the one factor which produces the stone formation. Is everybody is exposed to the stone? Not really. The stone formation, especially it is a geographical variant is very common. Suppose in India, in the northern part of India, is very common because of the tropical uh, region and nature there. Coming to the Karnataka, in Karnataka, if you see the northern bit of Karnataka, the stones are very common and they are very large in size. Whereas it comes to southern part of the Karnataka and also we have studied a Kaveri belt wherein the stone formation is very small and they tend to fall off into the kidney, I mean from the, into the ureter and they produce severe symptoms. So there is a lot of variation in the formation of the kidney stone itself. The third thing is the patient, they wanted to know about what are the common symptoms. So what, is, what does it do, the stone when they, when they are inside the kidney, most of them they are very asymptomatic. But then when they start falling down, especially during summer, when there is a dehydration element occurs in the kidney, they falls down into the ureter. The urinary passage is very narrow. It's about two to four millimeter where it cannot propel the stone out and produces the blockage in the urinary passage and produces severe pain. What kind of symptom one should look out for? It's simply explained as a deep stabbing pain comes intermittently. In other words, it is called as a, a colicky labor pain. So even the uh, even the lady who has uh, uh, who has uh, delivered a baby with a normal delivery, she will explain that this colic is more severe than the labor pain. So that is the severity of the pain the one uh, gets while during the urinary colic. So these are the symptoms which we need to look for. In case of advanced scenario, there will be some kind of uh, blood in the urine which can produces the uh, uh, urinary tract infection and also severe. Per persistent pain. So these are some of the symptoms which one needs to look out for. What are these incidents then? How, how, how many people are suffering from this disease? In India, it's almost nearly 12% of the population suffer from kidney stones. So it, it, it simply said that everybody in one in five exposed to the kidney stone formation in their lifetime, simply put forward. So what are the precautions one need to take for this? Kind of stone formation so that is a uh, very commonly asked questions in my in our stone clinic so prevention is one of the uh, major major factor and so many studies are going on in around the world but still it's one of the field an area wherein we are not completely understood but but then 70 percent of the time these stone formation can be prevented provided one follows the doctor's orders and and uh, advice after the procedure or for the stone formation so uh, as a golden standard of rule one needs to keep themselves hydrated he should pass one and a half to two liters of urine that amount of hydration has to be taken so for example in summer you may have to drink three to four liters of water to eliminate one and a half liters of urine whereas the same thing in in winter in december time one has to drink even one and a half liters is sufficient enough to throw out the one and a half liters of uh, urine and also 
uh, the the dietary restrictions is one of the uh, major event it depending upon the stone formation the dietary advice will be given what are the stone formation there what are the types of kidney stone formation there are various types it's not only single stone formation there are various types of kidney stone formation like calcium oxalate phosphorus and uric acid depending upon these stones we acidize we do a metabolic study of the urine 24 hours of urine examination will be done and then different dietary advice will be given to each of these patients what is the treatment so you suppose if these stones are big and they produce the symptoms what are the uh, treatment options again the treatment options falls into medical expulsion therapy and the surgical medical expulsion therapy simply it is if the stone is 5 mm and if it is in the lower down 50% chance that these stones will pass out so that these things can be decided when you are in consult with the doctor in a stone clinic and so that appropriate treatment and protocol can be given get treated for many ailments in less than 24 hours safe surgery matlab manipal hospitals because our stars are our doctors no more excuses